Hi, this is Dr. Joe Ferrantelli, and I'd like to go over our unique product, Posture Aid. It's an x-ray EMR system that is meant to not only document the doctor's findings and make that easy and efficient, but it's also at the same time able to build uh, reports that can educate your patients so they have confidence in your skills as a practitioner that you're on the same page with showing them what's normal and where their spine is at. So let me go ahead and briefly show you the reports real quick. There's numerous reports that can be generated. The first one and one of the most powerful is something like this called the Report of Findings Packet. Of course the doctor would have their own logo up at top and you can change the colors uh, to match the facility. But what's unique and different about this is that it is basically a spinal care class summary and then it jumps into the patient's own x-rays. So normal on this side and the patient, red lines them, green lines normal. This is the CBP version that we have here. What's awesome is that it automatically calculates the percentage of difference from normal to them. So for the first time, they actually have something to go home with as an educational product. And of course, you're gonna go ahead and put notes in here about their condition that tie into the reason why that patient is in your office to give them some extra education. It goes through all different types of x-rays on flexion extension, it makes it easy to define where the unstable segments are by highlighting those, but every type of x-ray we have is already in here. It makes your x-rays useful so that they will understand what the problem is. And at the same time, you get nice documentation reports. So say you were gonna do um, an instability report for a med legal case, you can go ahead and do that with the same speed and efficiency of uh, digitizing the x-rays. Now you get other reports that is all your documentation of findings. And it even highlights the areas of instability for the doctor and creates a nice narrative report on their findings, all with digitizing and actually adding in some quick notes. So let me show you how easy it is for you. So if you come in here, we're gonna go ahead and look at Posture A. I already have loaded some x-rays. We're gonna go through a lateral um, cervical so I'm gonna come in here, and I'm on a Microsoft Surface Studio, in case you guys are wondering what type of computer this is. It's a Microsoft Surface Studio. I'm gonna go in and just go through this quickly. It tells you right here where we're gonna go ahead and click, and you can also train staff members and associate doctors to do this for you, but of course, you're gonna always wanna double check their results. So it tells us where to click. You can go ahead and use a, the mouse up through here if you'd like to, but I'm gonna go ahead and Magnify this so you can see it a little bit better on your video there. And I'm gonna use the pen. This computer actually has a pen-driven tablet. Just to make it a little bit more efficient for speed's sake, I'm gonna go through and actually digitize so you can see how quick and easy this is to go ahead and mark a set of x-rays. We're gonna come in here. And I go through the tutorials on how we're not actually digitizing the bone spurs. That's in some of our tutorials in case you're a clinician wondering why I'm not hitting exactly the four corners. And of course, we have all the imaging processing that we can go ahead and look at. If I want to change the contrast of any of the images, I can go ahead and do so. I can come in here. If I wanted to invert it and uh, change the contrast, I can go ahead and do so. I can change it, make it darker, and come back to normal. So you have those traditional um, those uh, controls with you. But here's what's unique and different. I digitized the x-ray, so it's not just painting lines, it's measuring. So if we look over here, we have all the relative angles, all the segmental translations, and the global findings. How cool is that? Now, if, as a clinician, I want to go ahead and go the next step. I want to go ahead and put a comment in for the patient. I'm going to go ahead and say, you know, something like... Uh, that this type of abnormal neck is usually caused from a traumatic event, which this case was, it was a former patient of mine. Um, this position you know, is predictive of chronic neck pain, upper back pain. We can make these macros as you see fit, so it's completely customizable. Of course, it comes with some macros, but we can go ahead and add any additional macros as we see fit. And then more importantly, if I wanted to come in here and do a pathology report, this saves us tremendous amounts of time. So. I don't see any bony abnormalities, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that in there, but I see some thin discs starting at C5, so we're gonna go ahead C5, C6, uh, those are the big thin disc areas, and we're gonna say it's moderate to severe diffuse degenerative changes, and now I'm done with my pathology report. How awesome is that? 
We also have other types of summary reports that we can add uh, context to. But as soon as I'm done there, I can now, if I wanted to, I could generate a report just like I just showed you. It will create the PDF documents. And from there, we can always do future comparisons. So in this, we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna scroll through. This is the, the patient's uh, report of findings packet. Sorry, Adobe Acrobat is trying to take over my computer here. We're gonna scroll through. And what I just showed you before, there's the x-ray. And of course, this is the text that I just put in, right? So it automatically predicted the percent loss compared to normal. Of course, I have the other x-rays as well too that are right here. So this is the patient report of findings packet. And of course, we have these samples right below. You can go ahead and click to see the sample reports. Again, we actually have more documentation reports if we wanted to look at this. So this would be the meat and potatoes, if you will, as a clinician. I need to see all the information at segmental level. So this is not what you would give to the patient, but this is what you put in your reports so that way you can be a better doctor documenting the findings. So that way when we can go ahead and do a follow-up with the patient, we know how the patient's progressed. Okay, and of course we can do comparisons. But what's nice about this is that I can go ahead and show you how to, when it's time for the report of findings, not only we're going to get these packets that we're going to print up for the patient, but we're going to jump in and do a report for the patient. So I'm going to come back up here and we're going to go ahead and do a report of findings. We can import our posture screen images right into the view box. So this is how I would go over it with the patient. I can even draw on the view box and show them their problems. We can use a, a basically a telestrator. We can use the mouse to be able to point to different areas as well too. And then we can go ahead and jump into the x-rays. So this is the x-ray that I just digitized. If you forget what the segmental values are, you just click this button and boom, there they are, right? We can go ahead and do other things. If I wanted to show the posterior tangent lines or if I wanted to show end plate lines, we can go ahead and toggle through those. But for most patient education, we're gonna go ahead and report basically the normal elliptical model and where the patient position is. When you're done with that x-ray, you just scroll through. So if you had to show the areas of measurement, they're always at your fingertips right here. Nothing can be as simple as using posture to document and build your practice with your report of findings. So let me go through and let me show you like a lumbar scoliosis. That's an instability case. So of course we can go ahead and show the elliptical model as well too on that one. But here on a scoliosis, what's nice is if I go ahead and change this, it will automatically superimpose the Cobb and Riser Ferguson methods. Okay, so most people with scoliosis monitor, especially orthopedic surgeons using a Cobb or Riser Ferguson method, we of course have those built into posture. Okay, so nothing is as simple as that. And of course, even on the lateral full spine, we can even show the posterior tangents as well as the end plate lines and as well as all the values. Everything's already calculated. And of course, the red line's the patient and the green line is normal. You can see that they're not exactly normal, okay? So moving on, we can get back. So that's how a report of findings would be. And if I wanted to pull up a set of x-rays, we could go ahead and do so showing a pre and post, for example. So if I wanted to show a pre post, I could come in here and do a view box. Now we're gonna pull this up. I'm gonna pull in a patient that I had. Now I did not have digital x-ray when I was in practice. So these are plain films that I took photographs of and then digitized. So, but it's a good correction, so I wanna be able to show that to you. So these are not DICOM images, hence the quality. However, even plain films, we can go ahead and show the percent change as well. Great correction, plain films, so you get the idea that we can show pre and post to the patient as well. It's quick, it's easy. If I wanna generate a, a document for this, we could go ahead and generate a document. I could go ahead and do a comparison report for that patient now. So if I want to do a comparison on them, we'll go ahead and search. I'm going to go ahead and hit compare and compare. And now this is going to generate a document for comparison purposes. So your patient education jumps right in here. This is where they started. This is where they're at. Sorry about Adobe Acrobat taking over my computer. And their net curve has changed 906%. Pretty amazing. This is, of course, a patient that I did perform chiropractic biophysics methods on. Great net correction, right? But for documentation, the clinician is going to want to have more notes on that patient. 
So we present the table of values so they can make better education decisions on these clinical findings. Of course, the doctor is the one that's in charge of making sure all the digitization is in the correct locations. So great documentation at your fingertips. So for more questions about Posture feel free to reach out to us at support at posture.com or you can even feel free to email me at drjoe at posture.com. Thank you.